What's up YouTube? This is Rochelle and I am back with my latest budget update for June 2019. So let's get started. Income for the week of June 16th to 22nd totaled $5,512.39. So let me break that down and tell you where that, those funds came from. Came from. Uh, bank fee reimbursement $22.00. Salary thirty three seventy four and forty one cent per diem nineteen thirty two reimbursement twenty five dollars and sixty cent. We received a gift of one hundred and fifty dollars. Thank you. And profit from uh, Teespring eight dollars and thirty eight cent. If you want any cool um, products, actually travels products, feel free to go shop at actuallytravels dot com and support your favorite travel agent. Thanks for the support so far. Okay, so that's the income. Now let's talk about how we spent it all. Okay, of course, 640 per check goes to, excuse me, I am my daughter Eva's having a play date and they have babies that they have to take care of. Um, $640 is going to the mortgage, home equity loan and car payment. $25 was paid out for grass. $50 donation, $50 for gifts. $300 for braids. Eva and I both got done. I'll insert a pic so you guys can see. Thank goodness we get a little hair break for the summer. Um, paid BGE one last time in the amount of $126.32. And then uh, IRS $200. Uh, my business credit card $111 car insurance $208, Netflix $12.99, Crunchyroll came to $6.99, iCloud $9.99, paid for our house to be clean since we have a tenant which is $80 and we still have the cats that, that need to be cared for. The tenant assists with that but still, you know how cats are. Uber, $100 to use. Uh, I'll skip the debt snowball. Personal money from Micah and myself came to $215. Skip the second debt snowball. Mama, is it okay if we eat a snack? Sure, baby. My snacks? <laughs> yes, have fun. Okay, I think that's what my baby wants. Okay. But I think she's crying because she had a bad dream. Oh, no. Okay, the realness, y'all. My cutie pie is over. Uh, miscellaneous, $100. More miscellaneous, it comes to $427.78. And last but not least, Eva's chore money, $25. Now, um, the reason for the miscellaneous charges is because we like to spend our money on things that we don't really like to talk about. So say like charity or just blessing somebody. We don't always have to be so specific and we are those type of people. So um, that's what miscellaneous would cover. Now let's get down to the good stuff, the debt snowball. After paying everything out, that left us with enough money to make two debt snowball payments, y'all. So first of all, first of all, let me rewind. I did all of this Friday night, very, very late Friday night. And don't ever pay bills tired is all I have to say about that. Okay, so let me try to put this a different way. Instead of paying the available balance, I paid the available credit. I can't believe I messed that up and did it. I mean, I still was able to make a large debt snowball payment, but still I wasn't able to pay the credit card off in full, which was my goal for June. So my error, I paid $1,950.88 to my husband's credit card, which was really his actual available credit to use. But it's okay, it's all right. We'll pay it off next month, no problem. We still were able to make a large payment to the credit card, and I think it leaves him a balance of somewhere around $1,000. So hopefully next month, we will be saying bye to that credit card. Now, we he will still make purchases with his one credit card, but he will pay it off at the end of every month. So um, I'll keep you in the loop and let you know how that goes to make sure we stay on track. He is, just for my new subscribers, my husband is very frugal. 
before I came into the picture, the man had no debt, no credit cards, nothing. I am the reason we have a lot of debt. I made a lot of impulse purchases, a lot of things that we just had to have for the baby, and here we are. So, I'm the one that needs help and has to have a plan. So, um, the second debt snowball payment that we were able to make was on my credit card. Now, my credit card, I'll throw that up on the screen. My credit card had a balance of over three, has a balance of over $3,000 but now it's down to a little over $2,000 thanks to a debt snowball payment of $873.44. So that is how we spent our free money after paying all of our bills and, having, and giving ourselves food and fun money for the week. So that's it, that's my budget update. Now the thing I wanna switch to now is to show you guys the new debt snowball um, document I'm using to track how long it's gonna take for me to pay off these bills. So let me turn to that and get that set up. Actually, you know what, before I do that, I'll insert a picture of how we spent our funds so far. Um, for this week, we made a total debt payment of 17% of our income. That's the automatic um, auto pay um, minimum that we had to pay out to all of our credit cards and all of our debtors. Um, and then on top of that 17%, we paid an additional 51.24% in debt snowball so that we were able to knock down a lot of interest. So next month, our interest will not be as high on those credit cards cannot wait to see the balance all right now let's switch to this new debt snowball feature I have now prior to making these payments for the month I just plugged in all of our debts we have a total of one two three four five six seven eight we have ten debts we are down to ten debts and when I first started this debt free journey we had about 22 if you watch my very first YouTube video it was a very depressing day. <laughs> so I am very excited that we are down to 22, sorry, down to 10 debts that we need to pay off in full. So the debt snowball calculator is provided by Debt Free in sunny California. I love her Instagram, I love her website. Check out her YouTube, check out everything she has to offer. Most of what she offers is free. The debt snowball calculator, however, is not. She does offer a free version that you can test out and see if you wanna learn more about. I went in, I'm always spending money on debt-free journey items. I don't feel bad for that because I'm using my own personal money to do it, so it's budgeted. And I'm, I'm always wanting to learn more from people who are already debt-free because they have a lot of information. So plugging in all of our debt, we were slated to pay, be debt-free 54 months from now, which would be December 2023, if we continue to make the bare minimum payments on our debt. Now, just by making those two debt snowball payments that I mentioned earlier, we were able to knock off 10 months of debt so that now we are slated to pay off our debt in 44 months, which would mean February 2023. So it just, go, it go, it just goes to show, I'm a person that needs to see it happening and see my debt going down and really see, you know, a time frame. I, will, I wanna know when this can all be over, you know, so that we can have at least 75 to 80% of our paycheck actually be ours. So I feel like we're gonna get there if we keep staying on track. Now this is a special month. My husband worked really, really hard this month. He continues to do your thing, boo, love you. And that's the reason we're able to make such large payments. Next month, he may not have as many hours, I don't know. But what we're gonna do is stay on track and I'll keep you guys posted. Now, in addition to those two debt snowball payments, Capital One gives you um, 1% cash back on all your purchases. So on Micah's credit card, he had a total of, a total of $44.62 cash, and I used that to credit his account in addition. So I, any little money I find, I'm just throwing it at that, y'all. Just throwing it at that. It's, it's just the way to go. And I'll just throw in some little screenshots so you guys can get a feel for how the debt-free calculator looks. Um, I'm not allowed to 
uh, show you the whole thing in full because she does want to be able to keep her money. Um, you know, she worked, her and her family worked very hard to put this budget together, but I will show you how mine looks so that you can decide if it's something you want to invest in. Now to all my debt-free followers, y'all don't need this, <laughs> but, um, I have a few different debt snowball and payday, um, apps that I use. I like to use pennies to wealth.com is also another great website slash IG slash YouTube. I love their energy also. They also give a lot of items away and have some very discounted items available for purchase to help you stay motivated to pay debt. And that's what you have to do. You have to stay motivated because many times you're the only person in your circle and your family of friends that is doing this. So it helps to stay motivated because you keep thinking about what you could do with that money. But what you have to do is just realize that there's going to be a day that comes and it's not so far off where you can be debt free. So let's see here. I want to make sure I covered everything for you guys and give you guys the chance to see the, I love this green shot, the green and white pick that shows that I'm going to put side by side. It shows the remaining debt and just how month by month the numbers will come down. And if you continue to make large debt snowball payments, you will see that debt just come down. So like, um, I'll show you what it looked like before we added the additional debt snowball payment. So just the bare minimum, we were planning on paying a little over $2,000 in debt, which left us with a remaining balance of $97,312.22 going into the month of July. Now, some of my debt is a little skewed because I refuse to go call the IRS to see exactly how much my balance is. It is literally a one hour, one to two hour task. And I do have to call in the near future. So when I do call, I'll get the updated balance. Um, same for state. It's a long drawn out thing. Um, and also too, they don't tell you how much interest you will have to pay after you pay the um, the taxes off in full as well. So don't even get worked up over it. I just pay what I can to them. But look at the second green picture and how the numbers have come down just by making those two large debt snowball payments. We done went from 97000 to 86000 scheduled for the month of July. So I am so here for this. I am so here for seeing my remaining debt going down, y'all this way down <laughs> so yeah so far I really like this debt snowball calculator It's very very specific I like it well that's all I have for this week guys I did have two cash envelopes that I wanted that I filled um, the only two cash items were donate for $50 and gifts for $50 which totaled a hundred dollars I'm sorry I don't have my purse Actually, let me see if I have my purse. I'm gonna get it for y'all. I did use some of it, and it's also for housekeeping. Y'all getting a real unedited version today. Okay. Let me not fall. <laughs> Okay, so out of that $100 that I have to use for tips, gas money, housekeeping, um, donations, anything that I see, like if I see a homeless person walk by and they look like they had their stuff together, they just fallen on really hard times or they have a kid, I might slot them $5 or I might go get a meal from anywhere but McDonald's. I can't stand it. That's a thing here. Um, and just give them something to see, hey, I see you try. That's where this money come, is, is getting used. So I have $60 left for the month for that. That's it. I'll be back later this month to do an overall um, review of the month of June to see exactly how much money we brought in total and to see if we are able to pay off any additional debt. Well, that's it for now, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace, love, and budgets.